Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Streak. We are jumping in again, and we are going for win number 10, and apparently there's a noise happening. Um, let's get on the randomizer and see who we might get. Isaac randomizer. Once again, we are back. Um, and we get, goddamn, Tainted Maggie again. Okay, we get Tainted Lilith this time. I keep getting the same characters over and over, but Tainted Lilith, a pretty fun one to go for. Let's, uh, let's jump in here. Of course, Tainted Lilith, one of the easier characters to start, but that doesn't mean that, that continues forward over the whole run. Um, but we'll, we'll give this a go and see how, uh, see how this goes. As for the question of the day today, what is a time that you have eaten just an insane amount of food? And what was it and why? I'd be very interested to know. Get away from me. Oh god, that was close. Yeah, that, that would be interesting to know. Um, I've had many a time, many a time, but recently, now. <laughs> I just had an absolutely massive bowl of ramen before this, and it was very much too much. Goddamn. I am overwhelmingly full. It is it's quite nice, actually, but also, also, I do feel a little lethargic, I have to say. Lovely. Item room. What shall you be? You shall be Mum's knife. We, we know it to be true. We know it to be true. Mum's knife coming right at us here. Eh, it's not Mum's Knife, but it's good. Actually, to be fair, is it good? I don't actually know if it is any good with... Uh, it's not like we're going to fire out more jellos, is it? So, unfortunately, it's maybe not as good as I kind of predicted it would be. Uh, just quickly checking the secret room here. I'm fairly sure I know where it is, but I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's here. Lovely. Ooh, this is a lot of stuff. Um... Fat penny, nice. I don't know what this card is here. Um, I think I'm gonna go for this here. Take the pill. Luck upgrade, nice. And we get spawn two to four curse pennies, converts all money in the room into curse pennies. Doubles our hearts, and one to twenty red hearts is pretty good, we'll hold on to that. Um, I guess I'll pop this and... Uh, See what we end up getting. And we'll quickly check out our shop for a soul heart. There you go, baby. Thank you. Lovely stuff. Okay, let's keep this moving. Let's keep this rolling. Um, I think I'm going to keep my Queen of Hearts for a second secret room play. Um, if you find specific second secret rooms, the uh, the red hearts will turn to black hearts. It's pretty rare. It's not super reliable. But I, I could also save it for like a um, blood donation machine or something like that as well. So there's plenty of uses. We don't want to um, just go for it straight away and waste it, sort of thing. There's no need to use it on this floor. Especially while we have soul hearts, it's not like we can use it to get into a cash room or play a sack room or something like that. That was a bit of a bad hit there, but don't worry about it. And we get a pretty, pretty good item here. Okay, down we go. Two items that look very similar in the tracker, because of they're just being a black outline. Um, Devil Deal, I'm not entirely sure on as of right now. I don't know if we're going to grab Devil Deal or go Angel. I guess if we get a few more Soul Hearts or Red Hearts, then I'd grab a Devil Deal here. But at the minute, I'm not really thinking that's the way we're going to go. Uh, depression, unfortunately, not the best for us right now. I mean, no one likes Depression, but um, it's not a terrible item. It can do you some good. It can do you some good. Oh, that is, there's a lot of Red Hearts on this floor for us right now. Um... A sack room might, might be the play if we can get some soul hearts on the floor. Yeah, that, that is even if there is one. We also need a bomb for that uh, tinted rock there. Just saw that. Good, good. Beautiful stuff. Hey, okay. This is... Okay, sack room, please. I don't think we're going to get one. It doesn't look like it by the layout of this floor thus far. But a sack room would be really nice on this floor. That's why I'm leaving those black hearts there. In fact, we need to have a red heart as well, so this doesn't really play right now. Yeah, didn't really play anyway. Please give me a bomb. No bombs. I'll go back for those black hearts after I kill a thy pin. I should let him uh, jump through all of my depression liquid as well. Ah, oh, I didn't, he didn't lightning beam him. There you go, we got him. Speed upgrade. Pretty nice, considering we start with lower speed here. A little bit unfortunate on this floor, to be honest. A little bit unfortunate. Um, there's, there's a lot of great stuff we could have gotten that we didn't. But health is good. I am going to quickly go and try and buy a soul heart from the... Uh, buy a soul heart. Buy a... Um, 
car battery. I like car battery. I was going to say buy a bomb, but it's not available. Is there any way we can get an additional penny to buy that? Any which way we can do that. I don't think there is, you know. Floor's pretty barren. We don't have a bomb for a secret room. We don't have a bomb for the tinted rocks. Kind of an annoying floor, really. I mean, I'm pretty happy to have found a room with two random black hearts in it. That's certainly uh, nothing to tear my nose apart. But it's a little bit sad to uh, be left in the dark with this penny unaccounted for. <gasps> Ho-hoy! Yes. Now, I could, I could go for the sack and try and get a bomb from the sack. But I think it's way more valuable to just buy car battery for when we inevitably get an active that works very well with it. Because car battery is one of those items that I thoroughly, thoroughly love. It, um, it makes so many active items so much better. So we'll grab it, and we'll head on down to the next floor. Look at our chunky little self carrying on. Okay, down we go. A little annoying to not get either of those tinted rocks, but such is Isaac life. But yeah, I, I ended up, um, we've got two cursed at the minute. Um, I ended up going out for lunch for some ramen, as I mentioned, but then I got like a message from work being like, we need you. <laughs> so I had to like rush home while I'm still very, very full of ramen. I had to literally like leave without paying. Uh, obviously, uh, someone else paid for me, but I didn't just not pay for my meal. But um, I felt really bad because I just had to, I've been invited out for lunch and just had to kind of ditch. <laughs> Oops. Right. Oh, come on. Do have our item room straight away, though. That's nice. And we do get an active item. Player now has an upgradable gun weapon. Um, used to switch to jetpack form. Kill enough monsters to get experience. She has experience with jetpack. Level 1. Um, okay. I don't think... Oh, wait. It, it completely switches our... Uh... Oh, I like this. I like this. Okay. I don't like that it's got no sound. It not having sound is weird. But we've got two different forms of attacking now. Oh, we still get experience in jetpack form. Okay, this is... This is very good. I, I, I'll be honest, I'm probably just going to sit in jetpack form for the entire time. But this makes car battery a little useless. I really, really like those experience things there. They look very good. I love the way they, uh, they bounce around. So we've got a double shot there now. You're not firing double shot, though, so I think the level ups do only affect the gun. Okay, let's just be careful. <laughs> this is, this, like, little XP thing's really enjoyable, but having, having flight plus the speed is, uh... Very nice. I'm assuming that when we get hit, it levels down. Level up. So we get big shot here. Big, big shot. I was wondering where I'm getting damage from, but I think that's from my trinket. But this is a, an interesting start to a run with a, a new pretty good item. I think we're at max level now. I would assume. Until we next get hit. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck was that? Um, I'm completely unaware of what just happened. My, my jetpack just like rammed me into a wall and I don't know why. Does anyone know why that happened? Like a charge-up shot thing? I really don't know what happened there. Someone that's played Polaris, or wherever Polaris is from, let me know. Ooh, the jetpack sets enemies on fire. It's kind of nice to know. But yeah, we, we, we got to know that on occasion it could just suck us directly towards an enemy and cause us problems. Do you guys want to poot out your kids? Thank you. Lovely. No, thank you, Worm. You've got to be near the boss by now, right? I don't know if that was maybe the champion of me pulling me towards it or something. I really just have no idea. 
Maybe it's faster I gain a certain amount of XP or something. Well, this is an Excel floor, so we do have another item room to attend to that I kind of forgot about. Take out you. Stop splish splashing on me, good sir. We should be able to get this guy pretty easily. There you go. Not bad, not bad, not bad. That's a lot of XP. Consolation prize is pretty good here. Should be, uh... Oh, it's range. Okay, I wasn't expecting it to be range. Right, let's quickly go and try and find where our other item room is, because I kind of forgot about that. Having no mapping right now is, is pretty horrendous. I, I don't like that. I am going to get mega lost. Don't know where... Like, how have I been here before? <laughs> how have I been here before? What? what, what? Goddamn Curse of the Lost is the absolute worst thing ever. Ooh, hello. Big mushroom. We are going to need quite a lot more bombs to make that work, though. Two more, precisely. Got a shop here. Ferryman there. Don't have enough money to do ferryman. Where the hell's our other item room at? I feel like I've been everywhere. It's always the case with this. Oh, there's a random damage power up here. Did not expect that. Apparently I've been here, and here, there's our first item room. Man, the confusion right now is, uh, is heavy. Hey, there's an extra bomb, one more and we can make that work. Oh, hey, we got a library here as well. Honestly, with, with Bookworm, there could be a chance that I take something from there. Almond milk, you've gotta, you've gotta do, do me with an almond milk, really. Okay, what we got going on here? Anything here that would be good doubled. Turns enemies into champions, sounds awful. On use gives that, that, okay, not good. I mean, at the minute we'll just take these for the, uh... Unfortunately, all these books are trash. <laughs> oh wait, what? One of them didn't give me bookworm. Weird. One of them wasn't really a book. Okay, not ideal. Um... What was I doing again? Okay. Almond milk is pretty sketch. Another room I haven't been to, apparently. Unfortunately, it makes our whipping strategy nowhere near as effective, which is a slight shame. We did get our fourth bomb, luckily, so we can head back over this way towards wherever that mushroom was. There it is. Oh, fucking hell, really? Shot speed up. God flesh, really not a very good one, but we'll take it. Unfortunately, we got a double one makes you larger, which obviously isn't really what we we're looking for here. Grab all of these. Okay, boss still eludes me. This way? And then this way? And then this way? Nope. Luckily, Jello does automatically fire towards the nearest enemy, so it's going to make things a little easier for us. Not entirely easy, but a little easier. But damage, damage would, would go a long way here. Oh, hello. As you can clearly see, this doesn't do a lot of damage. Okay. So, what I'm seeing is, when I'm max level on my jetpack, I can get hit for free one time. It doesn't, I, doesn't, I don't take any damage, I don't think, but it de-levels me and does that little weird animation thing. Golden Trinkets, why are you always erroring, my boy? We got him. That's very, very good. <laughs> Angel deal here. Unfortunately, not a great one. Queen of Hearts in here doesn't give us eternal hearts, I don't think. Unfortunate. Right, okay. Um, to the next floor. This is a weird run. It's a weird run. I'm intrigued, actually. 
How good is that, I wonder, on max level? Oh, wait. Oh, did I just figure something out? Oh, baby. New strat. So, right, right, watch this, watch this. If I fire, just fire the gun. If I switch, fire this, then fire the gun, I get both. I get both, baby. New strat inbound. We've cheesed the system. Polaris, you wonderful bastard. This is beautiful. I like cheesing the system. It's really easy to reset up as well, so we can keep doing this. Oh, that was a very, very bad hit there by me. Just wasn't paying any attention whatsoever. Unfortunately, this, this goddamn curse of all the champions is kind of screwing us over right now. I do believe it's giving us more XP per enemy killed, though. Get out of here, you. Godhead's actually kind of... Godflesh, sorry, is doing a, a good amount of shrinkage. I've leveled up again. Yeah, this is doing a, a very, very good amount of damage. And the good thing is, like I said, Jello automatically fires towards the closest enemy, too. Got a luck upgrade here. A relax here. Still holding on to this, holding on to hope that we can make that work. I don't know if it'll happen, but like I said, hold on to the hope and we'll see. But this is, this is fun. <laughs> We've really created something cool here. I'm glad that I uh, did a bit of switcher rooming and tried this out. Because uh, I think the max level Polaris is actually kind of kicking ass. I think it's doing quite a lot of damage. I don't know if getting XP after max level is doing anything for us, by the way. Oh, also, the shrinkage on that boy actually shrinks the size of his aura. That's useful. Okay. Just be careful around these fellas. Shop, I will check just because we have the money. I was going to say money. I meant keys. We don't really have the money, but now we have the money. And we got the key back. Beautiful. Right. Item room, you know, you know you want to give me something beautiful here. Something that makes this even more wacky. Unfortunately, you did not. You gave me a speed down and standing still provides stats. Whatever. We'll take it. It could be useful in certain scenarios. I don't really see which, but I'm not going to dismiss it. Beautiful. Uh, boss time, I think. I've right, just got to not get hit and lose my Polaris bonus. My Polaris levels. Beautiful stuff. Latch key. I mean, honestly, I'm pretty down for the um, the luck increases right now. I will check out the devil deal here just in case there's some amazing stuff. Honestly, that is pretty amazing. Um, this does lock us into devil deals, but the damage we'll gain from this is, yeah, absolutely mahoosive. Um, that, that, that puts us in a way better spot. It does guarantee a curse at every floor, but, um, I'm actually mostly okay with that. The, the, the absolutely giant gain in damage is worth it, I think. With, um, almond milk, it's, it's pretty impressive to get a plus one to our, uh, to our damage as a whole. When we've only got 1.7 damage, it's nearly doubling. I will admit it is a little hard to keep track of where enemies are when they're all shrunk and stuff. Yeah, I, I knew I was going to get hit there, unfortunately. But, as you can see, the level ups just come back so quickly, it's not even a problem. My main issue right now is my health is pretty bad. I will take Gregoth the Eggoth, which is, which is why I think this floor we need to focus on um, finding that secret room. Ooh, those guys got a bit of a visual over the hall, I think. They look different. I think. I mean, we're killing stuff super fast, so the health isn't, like, that big an issue. 
It's annoying having low health like this, but it's like we can pretty easily slap our way through most combat in, uh, engagements here. But I think finding second secret room here would be pretty darn nice. Um, although at the moment, I'm really not seeing where it would be. Okay. I've got to keep firing, otherwise this just ends. Lovely. Extra key there. Thank you. No, thanks. I want that. There's item room at least. But yeah, actually killing enemies is going very, very well. In here. Oh my lord. That's amazing. I mean, the speed increase is nice, but piercing on this is uh, pretty top tier. Pretty top tier. The damage increase is pretty hefty on a piercing addition to this run. Greg can always give us some health on occasion as well. Let's not, let's not deny Greg the power he deserves to be recognized for. That's a reroll room. I would like to get those chests, but it would require a bomb, so probably not the best idea. Go back over here. Oh, I've got an itchy eyebrow. Go back over here. There's a full card there. Um, do you know what? Let's yeah, let's grab the full card for now. Let's go. Let's go do this now. We can steal from Bosch Rush if we do this now. And then what? I'm not sure what's after that. Right, jetpack, fire, and then Polaris. Oh, yeah, that damage is chonky. That's a lot of XP, baby. A soul heart for that as well. And we get ourselves um, Crooked Penny with car battery is is very tempting. Honestly, all of this is kind of trash. I'd, I'd, I'd love to take Crooked Penny. Um... But I think I'm just going to have to take Forbidden Seed here. Which, really, of all the items, it's not very good. But, hey her. Right, we we'll have to stop firing here for a hot minute. It's not Secret Room, surprisingly. Right, just trying to find second Secret Room here. Not entirely sure where it could be. And by not entirely sure, I mean I have literally no idea. We're actually above maximum speed right now. This could be it here. Let me just quickly uh, do a little check here for secret. Ah, oh, that's not regular secret room. Okay. Why the hell's regular secret room then? Could be. No, it can't be there. Could it be below here? Nope. I say, finding regular secret room first seems like the logical choice. Ooh, I can grab that as well, lovely. Um, I'm reckoning it's either here or next to the arcade. Ooh, hello. Plus one black heart, yes please. Okay, and second secret room. Do we have any idea? Ooh, lost soul. Thank you. Could be there. Let's try that. Let's let's just give that a gamble. Unlikely, but I'll give it a go. Oh, it is. Okay, nice. I don't think this is going to work, but I'm going to try it. I've only got two hearts anyways. Right, down we go. We got a black rune and we got Lost Soul doing something for us this floor, which I'm really hoping is either a good angel item or soul hearts. Typically it's soul hearts, let's see. It's eternal hearts, okay. It's actually not too bad either. 
That's not too bad either, my guy. My pal. We'll see if we can keep him alive, but honestly, there ain't a whole lot of hope for keeping a, a little one alive throughout all of this floor. But I'll try my best. I'll try my best. Extra bomb there. Don't really need that right now. Trying to just body block him at the moment. Really? There you go. Just let, 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 let your children die. It's simple. It's easy. Is that a tinted rock in there? Yes, it was. Stop firing for now, then. Ooh, small rock. Very nice. Beautiful. I love this little tech that we found with this item. It's definitely a glitch, but I'm uh, gonna abuse it. <laughs> I found it. I'm proud of it. So I shall abuse it. Also, I like to abuse these things because then the devs see me abusing it and go, hang on, that's a bit overpowered, and then they nerf it. Like Pot of Gold. Pot of Gold from um, from the uh, Reshaken mod is getting a nerf because the developers saw my video of me using it and saying, hey, this is too strong, and they also agreed, which I'm glad of because it is, for a shop item, far too strong. It seems like a secret room item right now, and it's, it's not. Ferryman again. I'm not taking the ferryman right now. Um... Just because I want to keep my lost soul alive, and um, they, they, they're a bit lengthy. I, I do think they're way too common for how good they are. They get you consumables, they get you a chance at an angel item. I think the ferrymans need to be, and they're, they're pretty cheap for what they are too. Um, so I, I think they definitely need to be reduced, and I think they should be at least 15 rather than uh, 10. Because with the chance of an item then extra stuff, it should cost you at least as much as an item. Oh my god. You didn't even get a chance to shoot, my guy. Quickly check this out. The knives. The knives are just too good not to take. This is a risk. Okay, that, that was my that was my ultimate gamble, and it paid off. But the, the knives are just too good. Although, I don't see them currently firing. Is that because there's no enemies around, though? Right, down we go, and we'll see what we get from Lost Soul. Managed to keep them alive here, so... Hopefully he gives us some um, some HP. Oh, pride pin. Okay, okay. There's some good stuff right here. There's some good stuff. We have uh, increased our power tenfold. Oh, God. Pride pin. Chill out, pride pin. Not the teeth, pride pin. Not the teeth. Okay, both the teeth and electricity are two that we don't really want because they're super laggy. Yeah, I can never say no to Johnny's knives. They're just too good. And they're really good when you're holding down fire, which we're doing all the time right now, so... Plays nicely. It plays quite nicely. You didn't even get a chance to do anything. Beautiful. They're just disappearing. Most of these enemies into nothingness. I love that. Right. I think we got this in the bag. I mean, our streak, our streak runs have been, like, pretty pretty nice so far to us. We've not had any that have been super struggle bussy. Oh, dude, the teeth, man. There's some things that still just lag this game like crazy. And splitting shots that have, like, an effect when they hit the floor are the main one. I wish someone would just make a mod that removed the GFX when, like... Because there, there is some mods out there that remove GFX, but they remove way too much. I just want the ones that remove the... The, like, bits of fragments of teeth and burns when those sort of shots hit the floor. Because those are what cause lag. Every time they're an issue. Seems like we're going the right way thus far. Yeah, Polaris has been great. Unfortunately, didn't get any great use out of, um... Out of having, what's it called? Um, car battery, but hey hurts it's fine. Wow. This is why we take almond milk, boys. Never say no to almond milk. Lump of coal would be insane here. Which is why you didn't give me it. Lovely. Oh, wait. We can black room that, actually, for some more fire rate. Nice. Beautiful stuff, baby. Beautiful stuff. 
God damn, we're only at 30 minutes. This is a quick run to. Peeper's eye? Really? Peeper's eye? That's not an angel item, you f little creep. I thought it was meant to be angel items. Zealot heart in there too. What's going on with the last, of the, the rest of this room? Okay, it's over. We got a bunch of bees out of this. Oh god! There's a lot going on in this room right now. Let me out quickly. But this has been another, just like I said, really, really good run on the streak. I mean, I'm liking it. I like the fact that the streak has just been like, hey, here's some really fun runs. But there's been no challenge thus far. Oh, the fires. The fires can hit us. Yep. They killed my baby. These stupid fucking fire tears that can damage you for some reason. Still hasn't been fixed. You better give me a soul heart, boy. You give me Lazarus Rags, which actually is not terrible. Having a revive in the back pocket. I won't turn my nose up at a revive. Oh, come on now, game. All the wrong ways. All the wrong ways. Do 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 Say it's not so. Say I've not gone the wrong way. Okay, I keep getting hit. Luckily, we've got this heart that regens, so we're not actually taking any damage. Which is pretty nice. But we are unleveling all the time. Dude, my fight the fire shots once again hurt me. And again, that it's just it's just horse poo. <laughs> there should be no tier effect that can do that. Luckily Polaris is very easy to re-level, but I'm annoyed about the uh the HP that I lost for no good reason. What what's left in this room? There's nothing left in the room, game. Okay, we'll be bombing out of here then. And the teeth, man. Yeah, whenever it's the fire, we just have to stop shooting for a little while until it changes back. Are these the B tiers? I don't remember what's what. Oh, these are the poop tiers, apparently. Do our best to not get hit by this. Yeah, I was just going to say, I'm, I'm not great at not getting hit by that, so I knew that doing my best probably wouldn't be good enough. Oh, one more of these. No. Okay, we're good. Okay, last floor. What you got for us? Dead onion, soybean. Proptosis is maybe not great. We'll see. We'll see how Proptosis plays. Okay, no, it's great. <laughs> no, it's it's pretty good, especially with um, Jello. My God, we took a uh, dead onion. That tier rate didn't go down to. Uh, our shot speed didn't go down to zero. It's a miracle. Celtic Cross as well. Yeah, you need to get the hell out of here. No, Lost Soul again. Ooh, you gave me the Sharp Curse, which isn't actually good because I'm holding down fire right now. So, a bit of a shame on that one, but thank you. It's not going to be clicking very often. Dude, we only got three luck and we're getting chests like crazy here. Calm down shots. Poison tears on top of that. Nice. Keep it going. Oh my god. Props hers. This is just incredible, man. Dead cat. Don't think we need it. We'll keep it in mind, though. Looks like we're going the right way towards the boss right now. Don't even know what happened in there. Corpse flower. That's a spike chest, okay. Corpse flower, another good item. 
Oh my god. How quickly are you going to end up killing this last boss here? I need to get some Mega Satan attempts going on in the streak as well on runs like this. When we just know we're going to steamroll. Tears remain airborne for longer. Is that going to be a problem? No, not by the looks of it. Right, hello boss man. It's time for you to be perished. There you go, second phase. <laughs> oh, the lasers as well. Third phase. <laughs> yeah, I thought we'd annihilate him, even through the boss armor. You have been bested, my friend. Beautiful stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed that run. Another good one of the streak for our 10th win. I'll see you guys in the next one.